Smartphones come in various shapes and sizes. The BBC is currently issuing many of its journalists with iPhones. And while much of the following advice applies to those phones specifically, some of the principles apply to other phones too. Taking stills is quick and easy, but it's important to first turn your phone to take landscape-shaped pictures. This is often the best shape for display on a computer or TV screen. If you need to fill the frame with your subject, move closer, but only if it's safe to do so. Generally, it's best not to use the camera zoom. It degrades the picture quality and gives you fewer options when editing. In stills mode, the phone will automatically adjust the focus, exposure and white balance based on the centre of the screen. But you can get much better results by taking control. Tapping on the screen highlights the area the phone should focus on and adjust the picture for. If you touch and hold the area, the phone will then lock on to those settings. You'll see AE AF lock displayed to confirm this. If shooting handheld, a good way to make the shot more stable is to hold the phone with your arms close to your sides or find something stable to lean against. Tap the white circle gently to take a steady shot. Hold your finger on the white circle and you'll go into burst photography mode. This enables you to take multiple images in quick succession, giving you a variety of shots to choose from. You can also use the volume buttons to take a shot. If you are taking an image of something with extreme light and dark, using the high dynamic range function may help. Contrasting areas of light and shade in your frame will automatically be adjusted using the HDR function. It takes longer to record an image using HDR, so be careful to hold the camera still and avoid shots of moving objects. You can share the image with your newsroom via email or post it on social networks. There are other photo editing functions such as adding colour filters and alternative framing options. But it's often best to keep things simple and give your newsroom an original, unedited image. BBC journalists can use the BBC's internal portable news gathering app called PNG. It allows journalists to take photos within the app and file them directly into the newsroom. You can also file images from your camera roll using PNG. A smartphone has the potential to be a mobile news gathering device in your pocket. Explore and get comfortable with these techniques and you'll soon be able to use it to take and share great photos.